Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm going to be doing my first CD collection update. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, I already did my initial CD collection video a few months ago. You can check that out. It's a rather long video because I had a lot of CDs to show off in that video. But I'd recommend checking that out before watching this video because I'm obviously only going to talk about the new CDs I've gotten since doing that video. Now, I didn't get as much CDs as I, as I anticipated at this point. Honestly, I wanted to do this video initially a lot earlier than I'm doing it actually now. But unfortunately, if you've been following my channel, you might know that uh, back in the middle of April, my camera that I've been, I was using broke, so I had to buy a new one. So obviously, I had to spend money on that instead of buying new CDs and stuff along those lines. So I got less CDs than I initially anticipated. That's why it's been a, uh, pretty much five months since I had that initial video come out. And um, I was just had, planning to have it out maybe a month ago or a month and a half ago, but obviously that didn't happen. So here we are now. I'm going to show off some of the CDs I've gotten since then. And what I'm going to do essentially is show off the CD, say what it is, and then I'm going to go into more detail, kind of talking about the packaging, if there's anything cool to show there. Uh, I know in my initial video, the CD collection video, I didn't really do that. I just uh, said the CD and... Um, if there was something really interesting about it, maybe I would show that off, but for the most part it was just, you know, this is this, this is this, that's it really. Because I had a lot to show off there, I had over 150 CDs to show off in that one video, and even then it turned out to be like 28 minutes. So, you know, that was a rather long video, if I had showed off every CD in detail, it would have been hours of content there. But I'm hoping for these update videos that I'll be able to maybe go into a bit more detail with uh, the DVD, uh, not DVDs, what am I talking about? The CDs that I'm showing off here. Oh, and before I show off my first uh, CD here today, I just want to say I'm going to be doing these lists um, in all the future of CD update videos. I'm going to show off each CD in alphabetical order, because that's how I did the initial one. I have all my CDs in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to show these all updated ones in alphabetical order as well. So the first one I have here today um, is the Bob's Burgers Music album. Let me, let me get closer into the camera here to show you. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Bob's Burgers, the TV show. Um, animated sh uh, comedy on Fox and uh, I'm a big fan of the show and the music has always been a big part of the show if you if you're familiar with the show in any capacity you know that uh, there's of course the opening theme song throughout some of the episodes they have songs and during the credit scenes they always have music playing so music is a big part of the show and they've been teasing that they were gonna do a uh, soundtrack album for a while now but uh, it didn't uh, have any official like a release date until a few months ago and that got me really excited. Now this year, it has two uh, discs on it because there's just that much content. And it's 107 songs, but not all the songs are super long. Some of them are only a few seconds long or like a minute long or so because, of course, they're all from the TV show. So they're not all like, you know, three minute long songs or anything like that. But uh, still, it's a good amount of content. It's all the, I believe it's from the first six seasons of the show, which is pretty much every season that's been released so far with the exception of the season that's... Um, now, just finish airing on Fox, I guess you could say. I still have to catch up watching those episodes. So, um, yeah, most of the Bob's Burgers music is on this disc. Let's get into I'm going to show some more detail now up close. Alright, so pretty much the Bob's Burgers album. Uh, an interesting thing about this thing is that there's lots of parts on the CD that kind of stick out. And, um, like, the logo here, you, there's... If, there's a feel to it, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I know it definitely has a term to it. If you open up here, you see uh, Wonder Wharf, the city that they live in in the show. Uh, Bob's Burgers there. And now the two CDs are in these compartments there. And if you go inside here, there is the um, actual booklet in here. And it just has all the lyrics if you open it up, obviously. And here on one of the inside flaps, there's a written out message just kind of talking about the CD and uh, all the eyes of the characters here are kind of have that similar feeling as the logo on the front where it's kind of sticking out. I don't, I don't know what that's called but um, it definitely has a name to it. Pretty much this is a really cool CD. Um, as I said before, two discs, lots of tracks, some of my favorites from the show. Overall fantastic album. Next up on my list, I have The Main with their album, American Candy. I want to zoom in there. Of course, you're going to see it in more detail uh, later on. Uh, this is probably my favorite album from The Main. Uh, they did have an album come out earlier this year, Lovely Little Lonely, which I reviewed. But I wasn't too big a fan of that album. This was the one that came out before. I was a much bigger fan of This is one of my favorite albums of 2015. Overall, just a great pop rock, uh, pop punk even album. Great stuff. All right, here we got American Candy. And when you open it up, there's... This, whatever that is there. And then on the inside it says, control what you can, 
confront what you can't, which pretty cool. And one of these is the CD, and then here in the other one is the lyric booklet. And I like that, how the lyric booklet, the images, here she's got the gum bubble here, and then now it's popped, I guess. And inside you just have the lyrics and pictures of the band, stuff like that. Pretty standard stuff for a CD booklet, but cool. American Candy, good album. Now it's time to get into some of the new Mastodon CDs I got. I reviewed all Mastodon's albums back in March, so I got some of their CDs. And the first one I want to show off is Blood Mountain, uh, one of my favorite Mastodon uh, albums. I love, I love all their albums. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this one because I did a whole review of it already, so you can check that out. I have a whole playlist full of my Mastodon reviews if you want to see those. So I'm just going to get into detail talking about the actual uh, disc itself now. Alright, here we got Blood Mountain, and this one's a jewel case, so that means the light's going to be reflecting off it like crazy, unfortunately. Uh, back here you got track listing and all that stuff, you open it up. And I really like the gold coloring in here, you really can't tell watching it through the video camera, but uh, it's just shiny sort of gold coloring that you see here. And then inside the booklet itself, you have of course the lyrics and some other artwork images. Uh, just really, I think some of these were used for single artwork for some of the songs. Like I think this one was used for The Wolf Is Loose, which is, has its lyrics right here. I know it's difficult to tell with the camera. Uh, and you get to see some of the Sasquatch uh, fictional characters from that album. Just, I really like the artwork here that they present. It's really cool like that. And once again, this gold pattern, you can kind of see it reflecting off the light there. Alright, next up I have Crack the Sky, my favorite Mastodon album. Once again, I already did a review of this, and I'm going to show it in more detail in a moment. But, uh, yeah, let's just get into detail about it, because you can just see the review if you want to know what my thoughts on the album. Crack the Sky is pretty similar, another jewel case, and when you open it up, you have the lyric booklet in here again, and the CD. There's a bit less going on in this lyric booklet, uh, booklet rather, I can't pronounce anything today. But when you open it up here, you have an image. Uh, if you remember my album review, I talked about the concept of the album and how it has to do with the person who's like traveling out in space and they could get their like umbilical cord burned off by the sun. This is kind of what this image here is about, if you could see that. I wish I had shown this image in that review, honestly, because that story is kind of complicated to understand. This image, I think, would have helped a lot. And here on this backside, you have all the lyrics and thank yous and all that jazz. Uh, a lot less complicated than the one from Blood Mountain, but still really cool. I like that artwork a lot. And next up, we have Mastodon's Emperor of Sand, their new album that came out right at the end of March. I reviewed it also, so you could check out the review for my thoughts on the album. But it's the first uh, 2017 album that I bought this year. I think, you know, it's still also the only 2017 album I bought this year, unless you're counting the Bob's Burgers album, um, which I'm not really counting because all those, uh, most of those songs came from previous years, so that's not going to be in the running for uh, this year's year end list or anything like that. Uh, I know it's kind of off topic when I'm talking about Emperor of Sand here, but yeah, just if you want to know that. Uh, great album. I recommend you check it out. Now we have Emperor of Sand here, and you turn it around, you got some more artwork here on the back. And like the other Mastodon ones, this is a jewel case. And that's the disc there, has the Emperor of Sand on it. And then the lyric booklet, you open it up, and you pretty much have lyrics written here, and it folds out. And you also get some really cool artwork in there. It's kind of really difficult to see this with the light reflecting on it right now. Uh, but you have a bunch of characters there. You could probably find this image online. I believe I saw it somewhere there, or in one of their um, videos that they made about talking about the album, uh, the making of the Emperor of Sand. Check that series out, by the way. I know I mentioned it in my review for the album, but uh, it really helps understand a lot of what's going on in the album, gives some backstory to the concept of the album, all that kind of cool stuff, which I enjoy because I'm a Mastodon fan. As I said before, it's a really good album. Next up, I have Lullabies, The Paralyzed by Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, I really like this album. Queens of the Stone Age are one of my favorite bands, and um, it's not my favorite of theirs. I already have um, Light Clockwork, which is my favorite, and also have Songs for the Deaf. But this is also another great one. I like the dark atmosphere of this project, and you know, it has lots of uh, underrated tracks, I think, also. I'm going to show it in a bit more detail now. Now we got the Queens of the Stone Age album, and uh, the, the reflection here is awful. Look, you can see the camera and the reflection. That's pretty funny. Uh, turn it around here, you have the band back there. And now, uh, talking about the lyric booklet, you got this really weird image on the back here. It's like a, a sheep head and uh, the pentagram behind him. Uh, it's, I don't know what's going on there, honestly. And that's the disc, if you were curious to see that. Inside here... Uh, you don't really have a lyric booklet all that much. You have some lyrics for some of the songs written here, and um, not all of them, but you have these other images. It's kind of creepy, but the album has a kind of creepy feel to it, so it's cool, I guess. And here in the front, it has a... Uh, I know it's difficult to read what that says, but it says, This CD belongs to, and there's like a space to write your name if you wanted to. 
That's kind of cool. I've never seen that in a CD before. And the last CD I had to show off here today is System of a Down's Toxicity. Um, System of a Down, great uh, band. Uh, one of the better bands that come out of the whole new metal uh, movement. And um, I guess you could also classify them as alternative metal because they have that more experimental edge to them. You know, they're not your typical new metal band like Limp Bizkit or something like that. Uh, lots of great tracks here on this project. This is probably my favorite album of theirs. Just overall, really great effort. All right, we got another jewel case here, and this one just has the track listing and the band on the back. Then when we go to open it up here, that's the disc. You got the band in the studio there. Once again, it's kind of difficult to see with how blurry this camera is. I wish I had a better quality camera. Then you have the lyric booklet here, which you open up. You got the lyrics that kind of, if I don't drop it, that would, that would be good. Fold out, you have all the band members in here and stuff. You got some more images here on the back side. Just the band and other random stuff, kind of. So that's all the CDs that I had to show you here today. I know it's not a lot in terms of the number of CDs. Like I said before, I expected to have a lot more by this time. But I plan to have another CD update out um, end of August, early September. That's going to be the next one. I know I'm going to get a lot of CDs over the summers because I like to get CDs in the summer and listen to some summer music. You know, just a great time to get some summer tunes. So I expect to have some albums to show off by the end of summer, early fall. And then I would expect the next update after that to be in the new year, early January, kind of about a year after I uploaded that first CD collection. I know I'm getting way ahead now, but um, just if you're curious, that's when the next ones I expect them to be up. Uh, but still, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, if you haven't seen the first CD collection video, I recommend you check that out because you can see the rest of my collection. These aren't the only CDs that I have. Uh, I have, as I said before, over 150 other CDs, and um, they take up lots of room. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I have to glare off the uh, uh, jewel case didn't scare you and you're still here. Thanks for staying, sticking with me. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. If you want to see more of these CD collection update videos, uh, comment down below if you have anything you'd like to add. Maybe share some of your own CDs, some of your recent pickups. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Uh, uh, can't speak today as I said before. Uh, subscribe for more CD collection updates on other music content, album reviews, track reviews, uh, top 10 lists, discussions, all that kind of cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay golden.